Welcome back to the Mark Janot Show, the tech show about hacking. In this video, I'm going to cover seven reasons why you should not use a VPN with Tor. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. Yeah, because... Um, <laughs> <laughs> so you might have heard about combining VPNs with Tor for an extra layer of security anonymity, uh, but is that really a good idea? Mm, some people would say no, right? Uh, before diving into the seven reasons, like I said, uh, let's have just a quick refresher on VPNs and Tor. VPNs, also known as virtual private networks, encrypt your internet traffic and mask your IP address, making it harder for snoopers to track you online. On the other hand, Tor, the Onion Router is a network of volunteer operated servers that help you browse the internet anon anonymously by bouncing your connection through multiple nodes. Sounds like a perfect match, right? Well, not so fast. Reason one, compromise anonymity. Right. Another reason to be cautious about using a VPN with Tor is that it can potentially compromise your anonymity. While both VPNs and Tor are designed to protect your privacy, combining them might not offer the level of anonymity, anonymity you'd expect. When, using, when you use Tor through a VPN, Tor over P VPN, your VPN provider can see that you are connecting to the Tor network. This information, coupled with your real IP address, can be used to identify if the VPN provider is compelled to share its logs with authorities or if the provider itself is compromised. On the other hand, using a VPN through Tor, which is the VPN over Tor, can expose your real IP address to the VPN provider if there's a leak. The last Tor exit nod can also see your connection to the VPN server. In either case, the added layer of security you, you'd expect by combining a VPN with Tor might not be as bulletproof as it seems. Instead of enhancing your anonymity, it could actually put you at greater risk. As they say, two heads are better than one, but in this case, maybe not. Reason two, VPN logging policies. Using a VPN with Tor can also be problematic due to VPN logging policies. Even though many VPN providers claim to have a strict no logs policy, some may still keep logs of your activity. In the event of a data breach or law enforcement request, these logs can be used to trace your online activities back to you. When you use Tor without a VPN, your internet traffic is less likely to be tracked as the Tor network is designed to keep your browsing activity anonymous. However, when you add a VPN into the mix, you're placing your trust in the VPN provider to keep your data secure and private. As you can see, it's essential to consider the VPN provider's logging policies and history before deciding to use a VPN with Tor. In some cases, using Tor alone might be a safer option for preserving your privacy. So should you use Tor without a VPN? It depends on your specific needs and the level of trust you have in your VPN provider. Remember, when it comes to privacy, trust is key. Reason 3. Tor over VPN versus VPN over Tor Confused about whether you should use Tor through VPN or VPN through Tor? Well, this can be a tricky decision. Each method has its pros and cons, but neither is perfect when it comes to preserving your privacy. With Tor over VPN, you first connect to a VPN server and then access the Tor network. This setup hides your Tor usage from your, IS from your ISP, but exposes your connection to the VPN provider. Moreover, the VPN provider can see your real IP address and the fact that you're using Tor. On the flip side, VPN over Tor involves connecting to the Tor network first and then to a VPN server. Server. While this method hides your VPN usage from your ISP and makes it difficult for websites to block Tor users, it has its drawbacks. The last Tor exit nod can see your connection to the VPN server, your real IP address could be exposed if there's a leak. Ultimately, deciding between Tor over VPN or VPN over Tor depends on your priorities and threat level. However, using a VPN with Tor may not offer the level of anonymity and privacy you're looking for. Sometimes simpler is better. Reason 4. Potential security vulnerabilities Another reason to be cautious about using a VPN with Tor is the possibility of security vulnerabilities. While both VPNs and Tors are generally considered secure, combining them can introduce new risks. For instance, some VPNs may have weak encryption or be vulnerable to DNA. DNS leaks, these issues can compromise your privacy and defeat the purpose of using a VPN with Tor in the first place. Additionally, Tor exit nods can be operated by malicious actors who may attempt to intercept and analyze your traffic. 
Moreover, using a VPN can create a single point of failure in your security setup. If the VPN provider gets hacked or its servers are seized, your privacy could be at risk. In contrast, Tor's decentralized nature makes it more resilient to such attacks. In short, combining a VPN with Tor might seem like a good idea on paper, but it can introduce new security risks that could leave your data exposed. Reason 5. Slower connection speeds. One of the main reasons you might want to avoid using a VPN with Tor is the slower connection speeds. When you use Tor, your data gets routed through multiple nodes, which already impacts your browsing speed. Adding a VPN to the mix only makes it worse. VPNs can slow down your, net, your internet connection due to encryption and the distance between you and the VPN server. Combining Tor with a VPN means you're subjecting your data to two layers of encryption and routing, which can cause a significant decrease in performance. Imagine it like this. You're trying to get from point A to point B, but instead of taking a direct route, you have to pass through several checkpoints, the Tor nodes, and detours, the VPN servers. That's bound to take longer, right? So if you're looking for a smooth and speedy browsing experience, using a VPN with Tor might not be the best option. So here's a fun fact. The name Onion Router comes from the layered encryption used by Tor, resembling layers of an onion. Fun fact. Reason number six, legal concerns and jurisdiction. When using a VPN with Tor, you should also be aware of legal concerns and juris jurisdiction. While Tor and VPNs are legal in most countries, some have restrictions or outright bans on these technologies. For instance, right? Countries with strict internet censorship like China have made it illegal to use VPNs without government approval. In such cases, use a, using a VPN with Tor could draw unwanted attention and lead to potential legal consequences. Check, you know, check out, <laughs> I would recommend check out how to bypass China's firewall using a VPN for more information. Furthermore, VPN providers may be subject to the laws and regulations of the country. This means that if a VPN provider is based in a country with mandatory data retention laws or a history of surveillance, your privacy could be at risk. When choosing a VPN, it's crucial to research the provider's jurisdiction and, and its implications for your privacy. For a comparison of VPN providers, you can uh, you know, Google and, and do some more research on that. Final reason... Reason seven, trustworthy alternatives. Finally, it's worth noting that there are trustworthy alternatives to using a uh, VPN with Tor. If you're looking for enhanced privacy and security, consider exploring other options without the potential issues that we've discussed. For instance, you could use the Tor browser bundle, which is specifically designed for secure and an anonymous uh, browsing. The Tor browser bundle comes with built-in privacy features such as HTTPS everywhere and no script to help protect your data and maintain your anonym, anonymity, anonym, anonymity online. Another option is to use privacy-focused search engines like DuckDuckGo, which don't track your search history or collect your personal data. Additionally, you can explore other privacy tools and encryption methods to help protect your data online. While using a VPN with Tor might seem like a great way to boost your privacy and security, it's not without its drawbacks. Weighing the pros and cons of this setup, it's worth considering alternatives to better suit your needs and provide a more reliable layer of protection. Now, let's talk about the conclusion. Now that we've explored why you shouldn't use a VPN with Tor, it's essential to evaluate your privacy needs and choose the right tools accordingly. While combining a VPN with Tor may not be the best solution for everyone, understanding the potential risks and alternatives can help you make an informed decision about how to protect your privacy online. So that was the seven reasons that I was able to compile for you. Is there anything you feel like I missed? Uh, any other reason? Please let me know in the comment section below. Let's get the uh, you know conversation started. Please hit the subscribe button. Please hit the notification bell. I appreciate your viewership. See you on, see you on the next video.